The EO Triceratops TLC is an upcoming rework by the Wrath of Goliath's team for the base game EO Triceratops. Now, this is a mod that's coming to the game, however, there are some caveats with it. This is an early showcase that I've been given access to by Phalong, so I'm not going to be doing the full showcase as usual with the combat testing and everything like that. This is a showcase of the model, the abilities, the animations, and all that jazz. However, there is another thing that needs to be noted. So, some of the generic sounds are broke and got to be re-added so stuff like the kick plays no sounds so some stuff won't be playing any sounds at the moment and some of the abilities have multiple stacks stack two per use instead single ones that's something that needs to be fixed as well but these are general bugs that came with update 5.3 for the unreal engine anyways now we're out the way of that let's showcase this mod the first thing i want to talk about straight away the male and the female so this is the male and this is the female the colors go more gray from oranges on the front this is a revolutionary mod for the game because it does one thing very important. The subspecies textures change from every single subspecies. So you've got this one, Eo Triceratops Erin Solaris, which is Abnormal Conditions Heal, which is this one here with the very nice horns. Then you've got um, Crasis, which is Abnormal Conditions Heal again. But as you can see, you've got changes to the frill textures there. The next one is Horridus, which is plus 3% attack damage with more spiky horns. Once again, those textures change across the body. You've got Horridus Crasis as well, which has that change on the textures again. You've got Armatus, which has the same texture change as well. And then you have Crasis as well. So you've got two different texture changes per species there, and that is plus 5% armor. Then you go back to the normal one, which is that one. Now let's go ahead and showcase the baby of this model rework. So here we have the baby EO Triceratops and this thing looks absolutely adorable, especially when I don't plow it into a wall. It's got a gorgeous model and it looks so, so cute. Now do bear in mind a lot of the sounds are broken, but we're gonna go ahead and try and give a go at playing the baby sounds anyways to see if they do work. And that's all the sounds for the baby. And they are really well put together, I gotta say. It's really nicely done. But now, of course, let's showcase the adult EO Triceratops TLC and see what it's all about. Because, well, it's gonna look absolutely gorgeous. So, as for abilities, there is a lot here. This is way more than the standard EO Triceratops mod. Firstly, in your common attributes, you've got sharpened horns, which is standard on EO Triceratops normally as a head slot, but you also have shield wall, which raises the morale of your Ceratopsian comrades, increasing their armor by 15% for 60 seconds, and it stacks up to three times. Then for your head, you get four attacks of two that you can use. You've got your Raging Bite, which is a bite that causes medium damage, increases by 1% every time you hit and stacks up to five times. Shielding Parry, which greatly reduces damage taken. If enemies hit you while this ability is being casted, their cooldowns are extended by 25% for 10 seconds. Then you've got Headbutt, which is a quick headbutt attack, increases self armor by 1% every time you land a hit, stacks up to five times. Then you have Brute Horns, which is a slamming headbutt attack that reduces enemy speed by 2.5% for 10 seconds. For your sensors, you've got three here. You've got Bullfighters, which increases all ally acceleration by 50%. Then you have Pendragon's Glory, which increases all ally damage by 5%. Then you've got Royal Duty, which increases all ally abnormal conditions heal by 15% as well. You also have extra attributes as well if there are Ceratopsians in the group too. 
For the front limb, you've got your Rough Shield, which gains 10% improved turning speed while crouching. Stomp, which is a heavy stomp attack with your front limbs. And then you've got Webbed Feet, which increases swim speed and turning speed by 10%. Following up by that, you have Dies. You've got Forager, you've got Opportunistic Omnivore, which allows you to eat Carrion as well and Bones. Then you've got Durophagus Chewer, which allows you to eat Noughts, Shellfish, Insects and Roots. All of these provide different options there. For your hide, you've got Defensive Testudo, which increases Abnormal Conditions Heal by 20% and Ally Ceratopsian Stamina Recovery by 50% by 10%, heal rate by 15%. Then you've got Driving Phalanx, which increases armor by 15% and ally Ceratopsian's acceleration by 2 times. For your limbs, you've got Long Distance Runner and Strong Legs. These are standard across the game. Then you've got your Back Limb, which has the Disarming Back Kick, which is a back kick that if it hits reduces enemy damage by 10% for 7 seconds and can only be done while crouching. Then you've got Demolishing Charge which is a charge forward in a straight line and if you know the further you charge the more distance you do. This stack stays 2 seconds after the charge finishes so you can use that to your benefit. For your tail, you've got Battle Driven Madness, which when entering defensive mode grants your team 15% damage increase, however you take 20% more damage. Then you've got Dauntless Shield, which entering defense stance will grant your team a 15% armor increase, however your damage output is reduced by 20%. For your voice, you get Will to Fight, which purifies teams of normal statuses and grants immunity for 10 seconds if the team members are Ceratopsians, restore 4 times their heal rate for 10 seconds, which is a lot. So let's go ahead and showcase them all off. So with both the charge and the call, the call I need to be in a group to do so I can't showcase that off. But the charge is a little bit bugged at the moment where it gets stuck in place so I can't show that off either. But now let's go ahead and showcase the calls for this mod too. There's going to be quite a few here so have a listen and let me know what you think of them. There are a lot of skins that this mod has to offer. So you've got the default one here with the patterns right there. Then you have the classic, which is the classic EO Triceratops skin. The Monarch skin, which is one of the purchasable skins for the EO Trike mod. You've got Eye Spot. You then got the Bold skin. You've got Capped. Charcoal. Jungle. Volcanic, Sun Deity, now a lot of these are the actual EO Trike skins but they've been reworked onto this rework mod and so you'll expect to see a lot of familiar faces here with the Skull skin here, the Raspberry skin which I believe is from a skin pack, I'm not too sure, then you've got the Albino, the Melanistic, the Methuselah, I don't know how to say that but this is a brand new skin. The Lava Plume. And finally, Blue Shield. And that's all the skins for the EO Triceratops TLC. So, there we have the EO Triceratops mod by the Wrath of Guys team. The rework of EO Triceratops. 
Introducing a new system with different textures on the species, which is really cool and a gorgeous mod overall. Of course, this probably won't come for a little while and this is an early showcase, which they allowed me to do. So let me know what you think about this mod in the comments down below. I really like this. An insane rework on a mod on a dinosaur, official dinosaur, that really needs that rework. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.